This is version 18 of the Fast Duct Estimating software that's been around since 2006. I'll open up the catalog, which comes complete and ready to use with over 400,000 items. The catalog includes data for rectangular, round, and oval duct, whether you build your own duct or buy your duct from someone else. To select an item, I can just move from left to right and choose the item. Each item includes information on the size, the material price, shop labor hours, and field labor hours. Fast Test Inc. Maintenance includes catalog updates, which keeps your catalog up to date. If desired, you can edit pricing directly in the catalog. The catalog also includes tables for shop labor and field labor factors, which you can adjust to match your company's productivity. FastDuck can be installed on a standalone computer or can be viewed across a network. The job screen shows a list of jobs that you're working on and the date when bids are due. I'll open up a job. Each job has tabs across the top to guide you through the flow of using the program. The Job tab is where you can enter additional information about the job. At the Plans tab, you can import digital plans directly into the program and set the scale. At the Specs tab, you can view the list of rectangular, round, and oval specs for the job. Each spec defines what kind of duct, what kind of fittings, turning vanes, and so forth are used in the construction of the ductwork. Each component in the spec has information about joints and seams and also the raw material used to build ductwork. The specs can be modified as required to match the way that your company builds ductwork. At the Takeoff tab, you can order your takeoff in sections based on spec, area, system, and remarks. If I open up a section to do takeoff, we can see that this area still needs to be taken off. On the menu, I can select the size the item that we're going to take off, which is duct, I can measure the duct on the plan by clicking and dragging, and it marks it into the takeoff list, showing the hangers and the joints. I can choose the transition. It prompts me for the size we're going to. Once the transition is marked, we can then continue with the straight duct and mark an end cap. We can switch to the round menu right here. Choose the size and the item and continue with the takeoff. For equipment and grills and registers, we can use the job item menu and select the diffuser and mark them on the plan. The job item feature allows you to have a list of job specific items. I'll click edit and you can see that the job item can have a size, a mark, and a description. We can direct the job items to a certain page in our Excel spreadsheet and we can assign them to a price group when prices will be grouped together. This last diffuser on our takeoff screen can be taken off using a copy feature. If we go to select mode, we can select a group of items, right click on those items and click copy, and then paste them one or more times on the plan. Once we're complete with the takeoff, we can close the takeoff, and now we're ready to run reports. At the reports tab, you can recalculate all sections or a portion of the project. The chart report shows the total material cost, 
the total shop hours, and the total field hours. Material can be adjusted on the material report or at the pricing tab. The labor report shows labor organized by the sections exactly as the job was taken off. You can view both shop labor and field labor. If you double click you can view a detail of each section You can make adjustments to the labor by adjusting the job factor. We can add 20 percent and this will change the job hours. Once you've adjusted labor and material, you can export the information to an Excel workbook. To load the current report into the workbook, just give the workbook a name, select the template you'd like to use, and click open. This will launch Excel and load the information into the workbook. Material costs and labor hours are loaded into the workbook. Hourly rates can be set in the template from which the workbook is copied. Equipment and air distribution totals show an error code until quotes are entered. If we go to the duct equipment tab we can see two price groups kitchen and RTU. The expanded view lets us see the contents of the groups which we could compare with a supplier quote. We can enter the quotes on these items and also enter the quotes for the air distribution material. These totals can be brought up to the recap page. Other components of the bids, such as a subcontract price, can be entered directly on the subcontract page and the total will forward to the recap page. Overhead and profit percentages can be adjusted to give you a total bid price. Thank you for taking a look at Fast Duct Estimating Software. If you'd like more information, visit the website or call the number on the screen and we'll give you a live online demo. Thank you.